Hi, you guys. Wow, I finished them. <laughs> I just wanted to make a really quick video and kind of go over my September monthly minis. Um, as you may or may not know, um, four or five, four, I think four months ago, I decided that I'm going to do a series of mini journals on a monthly basis. And, um, so last month I did the popcorn minis, um, as a kit and tutorial this month, I just went ahead and, uh, made a whole bunch of little minis and, um, to put in my shop. So I wound up with 18 of them. They are, what size are they? Oh, I always, I always get lost on this. Um, so they're the field note size. So they're three and a half by five and a half. So these would fit in a field note, uh, traveler's notebook. And, um, yeah, so each one is made with a, uh, out of a piece of a file folder, you know, so it's relatively, um, heavy weight cover. Um, and then each one is just basically collaged with a bunch of different types of paper and, um, some washi tape and that kind of stuff. So, um, I did like a reinforcement on each one of the spines with a piece of cotton gauze fabric. And then all, anywhere that the cover folds, I went ahead and I just did a piece of that gauze. So um, to do the front and the back pocket, um, you know, that folds over. So so I did that. And I really like how you can see through it, you know, to see what's underneath. Some old recipe cards and just all kinds of really cool old vintage ephemera and paper stuff, you know, postage stamps sewing patterns, just all kinds of stuff. And, um, each one is a single signature as usual. And then, um, you know, I tried to go, mm, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy coming from me, but I tried to go somewhat understated on these. Like I didn't want to embellish the covers too, too much, right? Like I just wanted the collaging and the stitching, to really come through so that, um, you can see basically what the process is, you know? Um, and I want the, the, the materials, the paper that I chose to use and that kind of thing to really come through so that you see that and not just a bunch of embellishment. I hope that, you know, comes through. Um, and then on the inside, um, I went with, mostly paper that is good for writing, you know, because this size, this is a size that a lot of people like to use to keep notes or to just keep as a personal journal, you know? And so most of the paper that's in here is intended for writing on. Okay. Um, so like the onion skin paper, um, the pocket pages, I wasn't concerned with that so much. So I used some, some pages that had images on them. Um, so onion skin paper, um, this is, uh, oh my gosh, I always forget what that paper is called, but, um, yeah. And so some kids, uh, have glue on my hands still. I just finished my live stream. We did some of these, these beads and, um, anyway, so some, some kids writing paper, um, some coffee dyed drawing paper, um, some graph paper, some thinner, like, um, typing paper. This is really thin onion skin typing paper, vintage. Um, I did some book pages. I had this, uh, children's book. Uh, it was like an old reader, like a third grade reader or something. And I just loved, um, the titles of a lot of the stories in that book. So, um, those kind of come through in here too. Um, the other thing I used, whoops, I accidentally stapled that together. Um, come off. There we go. <laughs> Oops. Um, the other thing that I used in these was tons of 
like end papers or end pages or blank pages out of uh, vintage books. Okay, so um, like this is just, you know how sometimes there's like two or three pages at the back of the book that are blank. Um, so I save all of those and I just kind of had a big bundle of them. And so, you know, a lot of them actually fit perfectly into this size when I folded them in half and some I had to trim down a little bit, but, um, but yeah, so, <clears throat> so I used up a lot of those and, you know, so there's pockets, there's not a ton of pockets, but wherever there were pockets, um, I tried to fill them up with, you know, as many goodies as I could get in there, you know, um, let's see. So like this one, there's some um, just punched out images from some magazines or, or actually it's not a magazine. It's a book on flowers, um, some images that I printed, some wallpaper scraps, um, pages from some, um, oh, what is that book? Popular Mechanics. And then throughout each one, I used a lot of my little teeny tags, my little mini tags that I've been making, um, some little tickets, stuffed all the pockets or the envelopes with just little teeny pieces of ephemera, um, punched out shapes and things like that. And then um, there's little bundles, uh, paper clipped in, um, some vintage book pages. This is a Latin dictionary, some bridge score sheets and some other coffee dyed like cardstock, things like that. So each one's got, uh, one of these little, uh, glassine envelopes where I took the flap of the envelope and turned it around and made a little pocket on the back. Um, yeah, there's some little punched out images from another book. Um, that could be like a little tuck spot right there. Everything is just sort of miniaturized, right? Um, some, uh, tally cards. This is a bridge tally card. And the sister of the sun. See, I just love the names of some of these little stories. So, and then, um, I also used a lot of my collaged tags that I've been making. So, um, and these are all just Oh, layers of book paper. Um, usually I paint the back of them so that they're a good writing surface and then did some collaging and, um, added some images of flowers and butterflies and things like that. Um, so there's at least a few of those tags in each one in this center pocket. Um, you know, there's one of those tags, lots of messy stitching and that kind of stuff on these. See this one, I didn't paint the back, but you know, no big deal. Um, yeah, little bits of postage and that kind of thing. So, oh, this one, um, it's one of my little tiny tags again. This one is not as small as the teeny tags, but some, um, book pages that I coffee dyed, some shapes. This is a couple layers of book paper that's glued together. And then I, you know, punched out some shapes Well, die cut some shapes. So. Yeah, so I kind of went like from the middle to the back and now I'm going from the back to the center on this one for some reason. I don't know why I did that. But um, anyway, so that's a pretty good idea of how each one is put together. So on the back, you'll see two eyelets um, and then it's either a piece of hand dyed uh, silk ribbon. Uh, it's like sari silk. Um that goes through both loops. Okay. So you can close this a couple of different ways. Um, the way that I've been doing it is just, I have one shorter piece and one much longer piece. And so you just take the shorter or the longer piece and you wrap it around starting at the back and wrap it around a couple times around to the front. And then you just tie it with that shorter piece into a bow. Okay. So you could do that or you can actually kind of scooch this so that both pieces are relatively long and then, um, you can wrap this way and then 
tuck that in like that. So you could do it either way. This one's not quite even, so it's not working as well. But um, just wanted to kind of mention that you could do that. Like there's a couple of different ways that you could use this closure, right? Um, so anyways, um, there's that one. Now, like I said, there's 18. I'm going to list each one separately. Whoops, I went the wrong way. See, um, I'm listing each one separately. Um, and they should be available as soon as this video posts. Um, but I did want to add that on each one, um, if I left the strings, in the center of the signature long enough. Um, I didn't necessarily think about this beforehand, but as I finished them, I thought it would be nice to hang some charms off of those strings. So I did a key and a little leaf charm on each one. And then I also did one of my little boho uh, paperclip beads on each one of these journals. So those little boho paperclip beads are really, really cute. Um, this is a idea that Paula Forder came up with and um, I'll actually put a link in the description on my video so you can see how she makes those. I just did this on my live stream too so you know if you follow my channel you'll see that I did that on my stream today but if not I'll put the link in the description on this video too. So these little um, these little paper clip bead charms are attached to this ring. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to do that like that. Okay, um, so I put a clasp on each one. So, you know, you could attach that onto something else if you wanted to. Um, and then there's just a little eyelet up at the top corner with a large um, jump ring. So you could add more stuff on there. So what I did was I attached those charms onto the center strings of the signature if the strings were long enough. If they weren't long enough, because like I said, on some I didn't have the forethought, then I either attached it onto your seam binding or silk closure, or where's the other one? There's one where it wasn't long enough. Yeah, this one, I think there's a couple where it wasn't long enough. Otherwise, I just attached them with another jump ring onto that um, that ring there. Okay. So that means that they're all attached there, but each one has a key and a little leaf charm, a different leaf charm. Okay. Um, so I'll show you these all kind of individually so you can get an idea of, you know, if you want one, <laughs> which one you want or two or five or whatever. Um, so I'm not, I don't know. I should probably show them in order. But of course, I didn't think about that either. Um, just been kind of piling them. Um, hang on a second. Let me let me kind of order these really quick. Five, twelve, seventeen, sixteen, thirteen. Well, this is exciting watching Jessica counting, huh? <clears throat> this is not too long. Number 10. Five. I'll uh, open up a couple more of them too, just so you guys can see what's inside some of the other ones as we kind of go through them. I'll do, you know, a few. Um, this is number eight. seven number one so if there's a, a journal and the reason that I'm doing this is because if you see one on the Etsy site and you want to uh, see it see it like you know you kind of know where to find it in the video anyways maybe that doesn't really work but just humor me okay is that two or three that's two three okay and then number four all right so I can't tell you <laughs> when I do these series like this, um, how many times I open and close each one of these. It's crazy. Okay. So here's number one. Um, it's got the big butterfly on the front. Um, and you know, I was going to say also, if you get one of these and, um, you know, you, 
you want to. Like, I didn't put any kind of coating on these, so these are just glued on. If you want to just open it up and, like, um, put some kind of, like, sealant or something like that um, on the cover, that it would take that well because all the glue that I used is, like, water-based, so um, might not be a terrible idea to do that. I, I didn't want to because I feel pretty confident with it, but, um, you know, just, just an idea. You could do that. Um, I, I, I'm calling these, uh, basically like a vintage boho, a vintage meets boho, I guess, um, sort of style because I really like both of those sort of styles, you know, and I try to, I'm, you know, just trying to incorporate both into, kind of the feeling on these journals. So, um, along with my own sort of style, you know? So yeah, some of the um, closure, um, binding is longer than on others, but, but I did hand dye each piece of this seam binding and also the sari silk. So, um, just so you know, and then, uh, so this is number one and I love that butterfly. And here is vintage boho number two. Um, it's got the key and the leaf charm attached to the ring because the seam by or the seam, um, the signature string was too short. Um, so this one, it's very pink. Um, lots of pink stuff inside of it. Uh, I love these little tags, you know, these are just so cute thinking about adding some bundles of these little mini tags that I've been making in my shop. Thinking about it. Um, Cause they're really fun to make. Okay. That's number two, number three. And um, this one's kind of like more of a kind of olive green sort of feeling. This one's got, actually, this one doesn't have a leaf charm. It has a tree of life and a key. I guess I'm just going to open all of them. <laughs> um, so this one, some of them have two like folded in pockets. Some only have one on the front. And then I added like another pocket on the back, a uh, different type of pocket. Um, here's this one. So this is one of those little kind of collaged sort of tags that I've been doing. I kind of think about them as almost like patchwork, you know, let me get this glue off my finger. Um, and then some of these I just paper clipped in, you know, those little tags, little teeny ones. Let me zoom a little bit more. Sorry, I should have zoomed in sooner. So I like the bow. I like how they look with the um, with the bow on the front. But, okay, and this one's number four. This one's kind of an orange and turquoise um, color scheme. It's got the leaf and a and a key on the signature strings. with the silk binding. And I love that turquoise and orange uh, butterfly. So, yeah, so they're all kind of similar inside, right? But, but not, I mean, you know, I, I like to do different stuff in each one, but so like this one is just like a little tuck spot. I just stapled it in there. So this one has two pockets. The seam binding um, and the silk, uh, you know, closure ribbon, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily color fast. Like um, some of them I use just like, um, pigment inks to dye it. And so I wouldn't say that it's like washable. It might run if it gets wet. 
So just so you know. So this one I actually did like a bead and stuff. I was going to do that on each one, but I decided not to. Um, I did a bead and a little tree of life on the end of these strings. And then um, I actually wound up doing a leaf and a key on the inside as, of this one as well. So whoever gets this one you lucked out, you've got like four charms. So. <laughs> um, anyway, so here's this one. This is number five. So look at that little teeny tiny little tag. It's so cute. I got these uh, vintage playing cards the other day, and I just love them. They're so cool. There's these, uh, yeah, so there's that color and then this, like, pink color. I love them. All right. Yeah, so each one of these has been opened and closed probably two dozen times now. So this is number six. It's really pretty birds on the front. A little bingo um, tally sheet, tally card. It's one of my tags in there. I like, you know, some of these little tags are a little bit, um, I don't know, grungy, I guess, uh, which I really love. Super fun. And some of these journals I did like a nice zigzag. That's like real straight and real orderly. Um, some of them actually, actually most of them, um, <laughs> I got tired of doing that. And so I just went with my kind of messy stitching method which is pretty fun. It's almost like free motion sewing. And then some of these tags, um, you know, I did like the little, um, bulb pin and or garment pin or whatever you want to call it on the tag. Get in there. So yeah, this is number six. I couldn't come up with names for each one of these. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, so this is number seven. I noticed that I've started using the same names over and over again for different journals. Um, so see, it's kind of understated. Like I was tempted to like add some buttons on the front or, you know, that kind of thing. But then I thought, no, I'm just going to leave them. You know, I love how these paper flowers look when they just get glued down flat. I think they look really cool. So this one, the signature strings were too short, so I added the charms on the ring. So there's a key and a, and a leaf charm on here, and then there's the boho bead, boho paperclip bead. Um, see, there's one of those cards. <laughs> so, like some of, like, you'll notice, like, the butterfly got split between the back and the front cover. Um, I really like doing that. It's kind of fun. So lots of goodies in here, but again, you know, if you took out all of the little goodies, all of the tags and the stuff that's paper clipped in, um, most of the pages are relatively plain and writable. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, you could use all that stuff in something else if you wanted to. I didn't do tabs on any of them except for this one. <laughs> I just added these little tiny little fabric tabs on this one for some reason. <clears throat> this one, I love this one. This orange and turquoise, so pretty. Um, so this one, um, I used one of these big like faceted um, kind of, it's not a glass bead, it's, it's a uh, resin or something, but um, I got these from Carla. Um, but I added one on there and then there's the little leaf. This one doesn't have the key, but it has that, that big bead. Um, and then there's the boho paperclip bead on this one. Super colorful and pretty to match the birds, right? So this is number, number is this? 
Oh, this one has one of my sewing tags, like with the um, sewing pattern. And then this little like die cut um, butterfly out of book pages. Um, this is number eight. Oops. Okay, I really should not make this video like an hour long, but <clears throat> okay, this is number nine. Oops. There's a little egg and a flower on the front. Um, the key and the leaf are on the on the ring on the front of this one, and then there's the bead or the charm. Um, there's a little sunflower on this one too. So there's the inside of that one. This one I actually added one of those little um, kind of framed images. I should make some more of those. I really like them. I hope you guys can hear me. I feel like I'm talking really quiet. Gosh, I hope this records okay because it's taken me all day just to find the time to do it. Um, okay, so this one's number 10. Um, there's the boho bead charm. And then, oh, <laughs> this one I kind of split it up. I put the leaf on the binding ribbon and then the key on the signature string. And I, I like this kind of purpley blue uh, color scheme. Um, and when I say that, all I'm referring to mainly is the cover. Like I don't carry that through into the inside of the book, obviously. But um, yeah. I was talking to a friend of mine about, um, well, earlier we were talking and I was saying that I really kind of like it when my journals sort of look thrown together, you know, like, like I just, you know, I put a lot of thought into it and I, you know, kind of go back and forth about whether or not to do something or whatever, or add something or whatever. But, um, I do kind of like it when they look sort of thrown together. So this is sort of my, this is what I'm talking about. My fussy sewing method. Like, um, I like to just go, you know, I don't um, stop. Like I just turn the paper while it's in the machine while I'm stitching. <laughs> I don't stop at the corners. So that's why I say it's kind of like free motion. And so it makes the lines go a little bit cattywampus and that kind of thing. Um, so this is number 10, only eight more. So this is number eight, I'll try to kind of hurry through the rest of them. This is part of the packaging from the gauze bandage <laughs> it's glued on the front um, so this one has the key and the leaf on the signature strings and then there's the boho charm yep so there's you know 10 pictures for each journal in each listing um, so you can see you know what's in what's in each one pretty much like I try to vary the types of pictures that I take. So some of them I just show like the book open so you can kind of see what's inside the pages and stuff. But, and then I do like close ups of like the little bundles of um, ephemera and stuff like that. So this is number 12. There's the leaf and the key on the signature string, the boho charm um, with the silk closure. And this is like a page, that's a page from a mother goose book that I have. Um, it's like the big red mother goose book. All right. So here's the inside of this one. <laughs> I'm just going to speed up. Um, yeah. So you can see, but they're pretty sturdy. Um, these little journals, um, you know, because of the layering on the cover and that kind of thing. And then each one is stitched together with like a heavy twine too, by the way. So this one, uh, this is number 13, right? Yep. Yeah. Where am I? Okay. Those are grackles, by the way, those birds. Um, 
<laughs> so there's the key and the leaf on the signature strings. Here's the boho bead. It's got this little coin. Um, the inside pocket's a little bit different on this one. I kind of just cut it at a curve like that. I like that kind of pocket. I think I'm going to start using that more on my inside covers. Um, and then this one has that type of pocket on the back with like a grungy sort of um, collaging on there. I love grungy. <laughs> um, and inky and all that. And I debated whether or not I was going to ink the covers on these. Like I was going to go around all the edges and stuff. But then I just thought, no, I'm just going to leave them because I still, I don't know, like I wanted them to look more simple, sort of. I don't know. I know they're really not super simple, but I thought that inking would take away from the collaging. So that's really why I didn't. And I like it. I like the way they came out. I'm actually really, I know I say this all the time, but I'm really proud of these journals. I am. Um, I really feel good about them. Like they just feel really good in your hands. And, um, I know that they're really sturdy and, um, yeah. So I put a lot of me in these little books. So maybe that's because my mom's birthday's in September. Who knows? Um, so there's the key and the leaf and then a little boho charm. It's a little bit smaller one, but still just the same with the silk binding. And I like this little image with the flower on the front of this one. It's a little bit of washi tape, you know, pattern paper. You know, you could just look at these for hours, I think, and find new things to, to, you know, catch your eye, especially on these little, um, like collaged tags, you know, there's all kinds of stuff in there. So there's some postage, little tickets, book pages, you know, <laughs> all right. So what number was that? Oh my gosh. That's number 15. Okay. Three more to go. Um, yep, yep, yep. All right. So this is number 16. I have a short memory. You guys serve me to remember what number I'm on. Okay. I love this flower on the front of this one. I, I like that scrapbooking paper. So here's the, um, key and the leaf on this one and the boho charm. Oh, and this one has one of those little kind of layered little, um, things with resin. There's like some words in there and a little picture. And so here's the inside of this one. It's more of those kind of layered grungy tags. I'm just going to make grungy tags until I die. You guys little layered collage grungy tags. I love them. They're so fun. And there's, you know, there's stuff in each pocket, right? Like there's something in each pocket. So get in there. Okay. <clears throat> and I used a lot of my little tiny tags in here in each one of these. Cause I made about, I don't know. I probably made about 200 of them the other day. So I was like, okay, you gotta use those Jessica. I should you know what I should do is attach one on the front of each one too, like on with the charms. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll just add a couple in with each order. I think I'll do that instead. I'll just add a couple more of my little tiny tags in each one of your orders. Um, so this is number 17. There's the leaf and the key on the signature string and the boho bead is right there. It's got a butterfly on it. And I love this big yellow butterfly so pretty. <clears throat> I like this. Um, this is like a security envelope and I love that pattern. It almost looks like a spider web kind of. All right. See, there's another one. <laughs> I just use them all over in here. I love them. A little tiny cluster type of thing. This is a tally card. 
some paper flowers on this one. So each one is, you know, different and has its own kind of personality and um, its own type, sort of look, you know. All right, one more after this. Then I will get these loaded up and uh, I still have... Um, my 20% off $100 purchase in my shop right now. So, you know, if you want to take advantage of that, this is still there. It should still be active. Um, so this is number 18 and I like that butterfly too. Well, I just like butterflies, I guess. Um, so here's the boho bead on this one and then the leaf and the key on the signature string. So I think I already went through this one. Was it this one I went through? I can't remember. Anyways, so this is number 18. And I want to say thank you very, very, very much for watching my video and for giving me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and you know what? Share this video with people that you think might enjoy the content. That would be awesome. Um, and for all my new subscribers, Thank you, thank you, thank you very much uh, for subscribing. You have no idea um, how important that is that, you know, we get new subscribers. Um, you know, it, it means that, um, well, it means a lot of different things, but YouTube likes that. So <laughs> um, anyways, I appreciate all of you guys. And join my Facebook group, you guys, Junk Journal Connections. The um, link to join um, is in the description. And then um, don't forget, like I live stream every Wednesday and Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, yeah, so I have a couple new kits that I'm going to be putting together and that kind of thing. So just keep your eye out. That's all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> and um, I love you guys. So take care. All that. Look at all that yumminess. Oh, it's so fun to make them, um, but it's even more fun when other people get them and they get to kind of share the yumminess. So anyway, take care. Love you guys. Bye.